Hey guys, today I want to show you one secret that the New Age movement and Eastern religions have stolen from Christianity. And this secret will cause you to be successful for the rest of your life. Stick around, we're going to get right into it. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ted Shuttlesworth Jr. and I'm giving you truth for life. I want to thank you so much for watching again today. If you like my channel and you're loving these videos, I want you to subscribe. For every person that does, I want to give you my new ebook, 40 Days to Overwhelming Joy, absolutely free. So today I want to talk about the unlimited power of meditation. And this is something that many people aren't talking about because when you hear the word meditation, many times you think about new age movement or you think about Eastern religions like Buddhism and other things like that. But I want to tell you today that though those religions and those movements have stolen that truth from God and from Christianity. In fact, it is what you meditate upon on a daily basis that will cause your success or your failure throughout your entire life. God spoke to Joshua in Joshua chapter one, and he said, take my word and don't let it depart from your mouth. Meditate upon it day and night so that you will be careful to obey all that's written in it. He said, and then you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. God was saying, if you can keep my word in your mind and in your mouth, meditating upon it day and night, it will contain the power to bring success and prosperity to your life. In fact, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 23, that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So you will experience the realities of what you imagine or what you think in your heart or in your mind. It is so important to guard your mind and to guard your thoughts because they will determine the course of your life. Well, why is this the case? Number one, it's because what you think about or what you meditate upon becomes the words that you speak. In fact, the Bible says that out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth will speak. It doesn't say what's in your heart is what you will speak. It says what is in the abundance of your heart, what you're meditating upon day and night, what you're thinking about, what you're feeding yourself. And the Bible says that good words come out of a good heart. The power of your words is important because the Bible teaches us that the things that we speak will become a reality. Proverbs chapter 18 tells us that death and life are in the power of our tongue and they that love it will eat the fruit thereof. What does that mean? It means you will experience the fruit or the reality of the things that come out of your mouth. You can speak life or you can speak death. And Jesus taught this to his disciples in Mark chapter 11. He said, if you speak to the mountain and tell it to be cast into the sea and you don't doubt in your heart, then you will have whatever you say. And the things that you say come directly from what you think or what you imagine. So I wanna quickly give you three keys to guarding what you meditate on and guarding your heart so that you can see extreme success and blessing in your life. Number one, just like God told Joshua, I encourage you to meditate or think about the the word of God. Well, why is that so important? Because the only thing God honors in this covenant relationship with his children is the word that he's given us in the Bible. In fact, the Bible says that God watches over his word to perform it. So when you think about the word, when you meditate on the word of God, it gives you the basis to speak the right things so that God can honor that word and manifest his power in your life. Number two, I encourage you to set your mind. You can purposely set your mind to think about right things. In fact, the book of Colossians tells us to set our mind on things above and not on things of this earth. And then Paul wrote to the Philippian church and told them that the things you're thinking about should be whatsoever is pure, good report, if it's holy, if it's just, think on those things. Don't think about things that cause fear, anxiety, intimidate your life. Don't think on those things. Think on things that will build you up and give you an expectation for God to move greatly in your life. And finally, I wanna encourage you to take prisoners. What do I mean by that? I'm telling you every thought that comes comes into your mind that is not from God, that is not inspired by his word, the Bible tells us to take those thoughts captive and make them obey Jesus Christ. I've had people tell me, well, you know, I can't control the thoughts that pop into my head. And while that might be true, you can control the fact of whether or not you will meditate or dwell upon those thoughts that have been sent by the enemy to destroy your mind. Take every evil thought prisoner and captive and cast it down or 
cast it out of your mind and focus on what God's word says. Focus on the things that are pure and that are holy and a good report. When you do that, your mind and your meditation will set you up for prosperity and good success that God has planned for your life. The meditation of your heart is so important, it will determine the course of your life. Hey guys, thanks for watching again today. I appreciate it. Listen, if you have any questions, any comments, put them below and I'd like to hear from you and I'd like to answer your questions as much as possible. And until next week, don't forget, goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life. See you next week. Oh, 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 oh